Hey, good people, welcome back to BKC Cooks. I'm Brandon Carpenter. Today we are making a smoked pork loin. This thing's gonna be bacon wrapped, it's full of brine and herbs and seasonings. This thing is gonna be great. So I got this idea from uh, my good friend, Brian, over at King Bee Smoking Barbecue. Um, you should check his channel out. He's doing some really nice stuff over there. And uh, Brian just happened to be one of the best friends I have. We've been friends since we were uh, you know, little cats, you dig? And so uh, when I saw him do that tenderloin, or the loin rather, it was, uh, I mean, it was absolutely gorgeous. And I'm like, okay, I got to get on this thing and, and put my own spin on it. So that's what we're doing today. So we're back on the Silverback by Gorilla Grills. Um, I'm using the power station today because I want to be up under a tree because it's hot, hot, hot here in Texas. And so love this uh, power station because it lets me go anywhere I want to and it powers this uh, Silverback pellet grill uh for hours and hours and hours i don't have to worry about being close to a plug or anything like that so we're rolling at 275 we're gonna get this uh pork loin on and um let's get in there get it prepped up i'm gonna show you what i'm doing and uh hopefully this thing will turn out beautiful just like brian's did and if not i'll never hear the end of it so let's get to it i started by scoring the fat cap on the pork loin then i brined it overnight I've got it brining with rosemary, fresh thyme, and about four giant cloves of garlic. I've got peppercorns and your usual salt brine. Uh, it's been in there overnight, and so now I'm stripping fresh herbs, and I've got garlic cloves. I'm going to get all this chopped up. I'll start with the herbs and get all that chopped up nice and fine. I'll smash the garlic, get all that chopped up nice and fine as well, and I'll mix it all together. And that's going to be our herb crust that we're going to rub all over the pork loin. So we want to get this thing rubbed up on all sides. Uh, but first we're going to rinse everything off because we don't want the outside to be too salty. And then we'll pat it dry and get it ready to get all rubbed up. I'm going to hit it with some smoky swine seasoning from Fiesta. I really like this when I'm doing any type of smoked pork. And I make sure I get all in those cuts and those grooves where I scored it. And again, get this seasoned up on all sides. It doesn't have to be super heavy. You can do it to your taste. Now we're coming in with that uh, garlic and herb crust. And again, you want to rub that all over. Get down in those spots and those grooves and those cuts. That's where the flavor lives. And let all that stuff just uh, do its magic, man, and get seeped in. Next, we're going with some applewood bacon from HEB, greatest grocery store in the world. I laid the bacon down, and then I put the pork loin on top of it and uh, just kind of drape it over and kind of put it all together. I found this way to be easiest and I'm going to end up uh, using some toothpicks because the bacon wasn't cooperating. So I'm using toothpicks to kind of hold these strips of bacon in place and uh, you know keep count of how many toothpicks you use that way no one's biting into a toothpick because as that meat cooks uh, things can move around a little bit and uh, you know you might kind of forget hey i did have toothpicks in this thing so now i'm getting ready to go in there with my chef x from the meat stick this is a wireless thermometer that connects to your phone it's going to give you accurate temps all throughout your cook we're going to use this to uh, make sure that we're not overcooking or undercooking all right y'all got everything wrapped up my smoker is at temp and we are ready to rock so Gonna get this thing on here. Everything is tucked under. Get under there, you. All right. Lay it down. Meat stick is gonna tell us when it's time to pull it. Silverback is gonna do the rest of the work. All right, y'all, Meat Stick says it is ready. Uh, I haven't looked at it yet, so let's take a look, man. Oh, yeah, that's looking really nice. Really nice. I'm liking it. I'm gonna get this thing off of here so it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna get it on the board, let it rest, and we will slice into it and enjoy this delicious pork loin. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, we got it off the smoker, man. This thing is smelling amazing. The whole house is smelling of smoke and herb and bacon and pork and deliciousness. 
I can't wait. Let's cut it in this thing and see what it's all about. First thing I'm going to do is get our uh, Chef X wireless thermometer out. This thing was indispensable because uh, you don't want to under or say undercook or overcook pork. You don't want to dry it out. You definitely want to make sure it's cooked properly. But this little thing, man, is amazing. I do recommend it highly. You can uh, click the link in the description of this video and get one for yourself by using my affiliate link. So I'm going to go right in the middle because that's the part I'm going to want. So let's see. It's cutting beautifully. And this ingrain board I just got, y'all, this thing is amazing. I'm really, really digging this board. So, as you can see, it is juicy. Not overcooked one bit. Perfect temperature. I'm gonna cut a slice and then we'll taste it. All right, so we cut a slice. Still warm, but Man, this thing is so doggone juicy and tender. Look at this, it's splashing, y'all. And this has been resting for, this thing has been resting actually about 30 minutes. Um, I think with a roast this big, you should let it rest properly. You don't need it to be piping hot. If it's above lukewarm, it's worth eating something that's not piping hot for the juicy and tender results that you're gonna get. I'm gonna give this a try. The smell is amazing, I can't wait. Yeah. That is so freaking good. It's tender, it's juicy. That brine did the thing. That herb crust is amazing. Yeah, everything works. The seasoning, the bacon, Look at that stuff, man. Mm-hmm. I'll definitely be doing this again. Again, shout out to my man Brian over there at King B. Smoking barbecue. He's the inspiration for this cook. I gotta tell you, that silverback, as always, it came through and did the job. This is really good. Is it super juicy? You see that? It's dripping juice. The smoke, the flavor through it is just. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. That's all I can say. Damn. When I pulled this off, I kind of wish that the bacon was a little crispier, but I'm happy with it. It's actually firm, it has a good chew. It's not soggy, as you can see. It's not flopping around. Um, yeah. Try this, y'all, I'm telling you. This is amazing, so let's go wrap it up. up for this one. I'm about to go eat some more of this, because this is Pretty damn good. No, it's not pretty damn good. This is amazing. Shout out to my man B for this recipe. And uh, hopefully y'all will try this and do a little spin of your own. Keep telling y'all, stop being scared. Get out there and smoke something, man. And hopefully it's one of these pork loins. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Damn, damn, damn.